Next week, expect a major showdown in the medical marijuana wars as two L.A. City Council committees draft some new rules to control the city's out-of-control pot industry. John Schwada has a story. Matt Cohen's a pioneer in L.A.'s medical marijuana biz, runs a boutique pot dispensary in the Fairfax area. My job is to make sure that my patients are getting the finest marijuana that's possible. But Cohen's investment could be in jeopardy if City Hall continues to believe businesses like his need to keep their distance, and a lot of distance, from their neighbors, even those just outside their back doors. This is my business here, and you can see right across the alley, we've got apartment buildings. Right. As we have in so many places in Los Angeles. Next week, two L.A. City Council committees will try to hash out a new set of rules for medical marijuana clinics. And one of those proposed rules would prohibit clinics from being immediately adjacent to homes or apartments. So it would be a big deal to have to move. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just like with any business. I mean, if you have to pick it up and move it, it's a, a huge expense. And yet another proposed rule would say clinics must be at least a 1,000 feet from schools, churches, libraries, parks, youth centers, hospitals, even from other medical marijuana clinics. And here's one that's only four doors down from Matt Cohen's. One of them would have to go. A new city report says if the thousand foot limit did become law, 75 percent of the city's clinics would be forced to shut down. And those displaced clinics would have a hard time finding neighborhoods where they could set up shop. Um, if there would be a, the ability to have 15 dispensaries in this whole city, I'd be a little bit surprised. There's just really? too many restrictions. And that may be just fine with critics of medical marijuana. In Los Angeles, I'm John Schwetta, Fox.